I, so this is going to be another uh, television show review. This one's called Dark Shadows from 1966. Uh, I started at the beginning because a lot of people prefer the Barnabas Collins episodes, but I like to start at the beginning. Those are pretty good too in black and white. Um, so it starts out with Victoria Winters, uh, an orphan, going to uh, Collinsport, Maine to uh, take care of um, Roger Collins' son, David Collins, um, be like a nanny as well as a keeper of uh, the, the great uh, Joan Bennett. Um, she was given uh, Son of Monte Cristo, and I've seen her in some earlier films when she was really, really young. She's old in this one, but uh, she was running the Collinport, um, the Collinwood house she runs the the cannery business there and um yeah that's about it um like i said barnet they, they added some uh universal mo monsters type characters later Barnab although barnabas collins the vampire is more like a vampire with a guilty conscience i've never seen that before and let me um tell you how i got turned on to dark shadows uh my my stepdad had a um, cult movies magazine laying around when I was about 19 or so. And I was just flipping through it. I saw Coffin Joe there. I saw Barnabas Collins there. I didn't know who these people were. I wanted to investigate more. So back in the 90s, I started uh, accumulating the uh, MPI uh, VHS cassettes uh, a few at a time, you know, scattered. All throughout the years, this this show went on for years and years. There's over a thousand episodes, and all of them are good. I just never seen them um, one after another in chronological order. And the thing that sucks is that Netflix put a lot of seasons on my uh, on my safe queue, so I'm I'm going to be out of order again. I just won't be out of order as much as I was with the VHS tapes, a few at a time, you know, one episode at a time, whatever. Um, it's going to be uh, uh, one season at a time instead. So I can pretty much figure out what's going on in, in that order, but it still kind of sucks. I'm, I'm kind of bummed about that. Uh, I won't be doing too many videos during the next year because I'll just be watching nothing but Dark Shadows. I'm not going to do a review of every single episode. I kind of outlined for you what happens. Um, there's a lot of different things like there's a time warp deal or a parallel universe kind of thing at, at one point. I never watched too many of those episodes but I'll be watching those too. Um, yeah, so cool. I'm looking forward to it. I already watched the first episode. It brought back some good memories, man, when I was watching that VHS tape from the 90s. I, I had the very first one and I just watched the very first episode. So, uh, cool stuff. Um, I've got this book called Psychotronic Video Guide. I want to show you. Um, yeah, this is it right here. Uh, yeah. And um, it's by a dude named Michael J. Weldon. I don't know if he's still around because he's not making books and magazines and whatnot, I guess. Um, I don't know if he still does that psychotronic magazine or who's doing that, but um, he hates Dark Shadows. He thinks it's a dumb. Um, actually, I like um, the Gothic soap opera, and I had no interest in watching the uh, Tim Burton movie, the comedy. I saw the trailer on YouTube, and it just looked fucking ridiculous. Not to mention uh, Johnny Depp dressed up like... Uh, Michael Jackson. I mean, come on. That's got to be a joke. And the, and the ironic part is that I tried to get my former co-worker, Symphony, to watch the uh, the gothic soap opera from the 60s. Um, she refused, and instead she went and saw the Tim Burton movie. So that tells you a little bit about what kind of friends I keep. Uh, yeah, they're like polar opposite to me. But, oh well, uh, I'll find somebody who likes Dark Shadows one of these days, later.